Hey guys, what's up? This is it back to you with another FIFA Mobile video and uh, in this video I'm going to be claiming a ton of coins uh, because I've sold most of the investments I had for the past month or so, I don't know. Uh, anyways, so uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so uh, first of all I'll just show you all the players I have in my inbox. Oh by the way, uh, after I claim all the coins, I am going to show you, uh, like tell you guys which players I invested in because a lot of people say that I only show videos of claiming coins and you guys want to know how to actually invest. So uh, I'll tell you which players you can invest in for this promo and by this promo I mean the Lunar New Year live event. So uh, I'll just tell you that after I claim all my coins. So uh, I've got 27 players that I've sold. All of these are pretty expensive players, most of all, and in fact, all of them are elites. So uh, let me just show you guys. Uh, I'll also tell you when I bought them, how much I got them for, and all that stuff. Okay, so uh, this Oscan I got during the carnival event, uh, and the thing is, during the end of the carnival event, I didn't have many coins, so I didn't invest a lot. Uh, I invested in Mikitarian at that time because he was out for the team of the week and a few other players I sold them earlier but anyways so uh, Mikitarian I got for like 1.4 million or something both of them and uh, if I waited a little I could have sold him for about 4 million but I'm fine with what I got uh, same for Oscan even he goes up to about 4 million uh, which is the cap for 85 rated players I think I'm not sure but his price has gone up a lot now uh, this Mota I got for like 500k when he was available in the uh, what do you call those envelopes so uh, there's that and then this Robertson also I bought him for about 200k actually I bought him for 250k I made a loss on this guy but I wanted the coin so I sold him now uh, this Faleo uh, I got him for about 1.6 million and uh, his price has gone up a lot uh, his cap is at about 5 million but uh, you can sell him in the market for around 4.7 to 4.8 million I sold him for a little less because I just wanted to sell him fast but there's that. Now I made a ton of coins on Manu uh, sorry I made a ton of coins on Manucci. Uh, I got him for about 1. Point, yeah uh, sorry 10 million 600k or something like that when uh, the team of the year was out and I made like 17 million coins on him just profit which was amazing. And uh, similar thing for Kante uh, I completed Kante for the team of the year player and I also completed Danny Alves so 11 million and 8.5 million is profit on these guys and Marcelo I got for about 7.5 or 8 million or something so I made about seven and a half million on him so that's good uh, Fernando Torres uh, I didn't buy him I didn't invest in him but I got him from the event so uh, 4.6 million is all profit on this guy now uh, the most profit I made uh, from the carnival end was from these guys. Let me just show you. So, uh, we've got Jung and we've got George. Uh, Jung, I bought for about 400k. I bought 5 of him and uh, he sells. He sold for about 1.2 million, all of them. And George, on the other hand, I got for about 600k. Uh, I made a ton of coins on this guy. Uh, I made about 2.2 million on each of them. Uh, all of them sold for about 2.75 million. And uh, there are four of him. I sold a few earlier, so uh, but I've already claimed the coins. And these Walcotts I got for about 200-220k. And uh, they should probably sell for about 600k. I'm not sure yet, but I'll see. Uh, anyways guys, now I will be claiming the coins. Uh, so by my calculation, I should have about 100 million coins. But I'm not sure. Uh, I will claim all of them in front of you. And uh, then we'll see how much we have. So let's claim them now uh, I think I'll not claim the 200k ones and I'll see that later but okay also I'm not sure what the cap is for the coin balance so uh, I just hope it's not at 100 million because I might lose if I go over but anyway let's find out let's claim them all now okay moment of truth guys we have 100 million coins. That's amazing. Um, I know my reaction doesn't sound that excited, but I was expecting to reach about 100 million. Uh, I've sold Walcott and I'll probably sell the rest of them soon. 
so uh, as you guys can see this is the first time i've hit so many coins 100 million that's a lot but anyways uh, now i'll tell you what you can invest in for this promo i'm gonna do another video where i rank up a couple of players so uh, you can stay tuned for that but as far as investments go let me just tell you okay so uh, the first one you can invest in is bernardo silva now uh, bernardo silva has already appeared in the envelopes i think about eight or 16 hours ago i think i'm not sure exactly but his price has gone up so uh, i wouldn't recommend investing him at this point in time uh lindelof uh, same thing he was the last player that was in the envelope so uh, if you get him for about 600k or maybe 700k uh, he might be worth investing in because uh the price of right back should go up to about 1.2 million when the market is stable now uh, one more thing you guys should take care of is the fact that the lunar new event has given a lot of coins to people so the market is super i made also probably going to drop drop more first and then increase probably i'm not sure a hundred percent but there is a good chance that prices actually drop first so i wouldn't recommend you guys to spend all of your investment budget like if you have let's say 10 million i'd say invest about 4 million and save about 2 million for later because i think the prices are going to drop a little later so you might be able to pick these lindelofs up after the promo for cheaper just saying you might want to save some coins for that too but don't spend more than 50% of your coins investing right now. Plus, uh, when the Crimson players get auctionable, you want to save some coins for those too. So, don't spend more than 50% of your balance on investing the, at this point in time. Now, uh, Tolisio can be a good player to invest in because he's currently available in the envelopes. By the time I upload the video, he might not be available. But, uh, one good thing is... Uh, the price of the players doesn't increase very fast so he will be available for a relatively cheaper amount for i'd say two to three hours after he's available so now uh, one more thing guys uh, i would recommend you guys to invest in all of the players which are available in the envelopes from now on so we've got i think four more refreshes left to the four or five more i don't remember but yeah we've got about four more refreshes left to the envelope event so when they refresh all the four players that come buy a few of them two to three of them but invest in all of them don't invest in just one uh my personal opinion lindelof and tolisio are going to be good investments bernardo silva can also be a good investment potentially but since he's not available in envelopes and i don't think he's going to come back again so uh, i wouldn't recommend if he does come back you might want to invest uh mota is also a good player you can invest in but i don't think he's going to come back again i'm not sure uh the players that might come back are this goalkeeper uh, then I think Sanson might come back not sure yet, but He might so you might want to invest in all the four players that come after this uh, Don't invest too much make sure you buy it about one or two of all of them just in case because uh, Diversifying your investment is actually a very good thing. It keeps you safe from potential losses and uh, Don't worry about holding investments long now apart from these elites. I do have gold investments like a lot of them so uh, I'm just going to sell them at a later date. I don't know when. Uh, that's it for telling you about the investments. Now uh, I will update you guys on my Lunar New Year progress. I am going to try to get that Lindelof. All I need right now is to get the four Lunar New Year points. Right now we have Firecracker and Tolisio. I, As you can see I haven't opened any one of them because I want the four Lunar points. If I get about 8 Luna points, I should be able to get myself that Lindelof. I'll just show you my progress. So, this is where I am. And I have 64 more points. So, I think I need 90 more points to reach to Lindelof. Something like that. I don't know. So, basically, I need about 26 more points. And uh, the live event is going to give me the Limo. Uh, uh, 12 more points. And I should be able to get about 14 more points from well something i don't know uh i just need the red envelope to repeat the four lunar points twice and then i can go to the store and get this pack let me just show you guys yeah so uh if i manage to get eight more points from the lunar new event i will purchase this pack and i then i should have enough points to get myself the lindelof although i will waste uh sorry i will wait till the last reset to buy this pack because there is a chance that I get more than eight eight Lunar New Year points. So, uh, 
you know if i get more than eight i might not have to buy this one i don't know i'll see so uh, there is that so that's it for my progress in the lunar new event uh, i will make another video on uh, player of the month too because i've been aiming for the player of the month this month so i have three player of the month tokens and i will make a video on that too and uh, since my coin balance is up i will do upgrades on my team i will tell you guys what i do and i'll make a video on that too soon uh, i'll probably be ranking up a few players and i don't know i'll see i do need to complete two campaigns first so it's gonna be some time before i get the 90 overall players i need but i will be doing it soon so uh anyways guys thanks for watching uh subscribe to my channel if you're new if you have any questions you can drop them down in the comments i'll see you guys later peace